So you have a YouTube channel, you do what everybody recommends, you put out regular content, you create great videos, but you're still struggling to get views and subscribers. The problem is probably SEO. SEO means search engine optimization. You've probably heard it mentioned with Google SEO and ranking on Google. Well, it works exactly the same with YouTube. Today, I'm gonna to show you how YouTube SEO works, what makes videos show up in YouTube search so that you can position your videos to get found by a search query. SEO is all about keywords, how you use them, where you place them and which ones you use. I'm going to talk to you today about three different ways and tools that you can use to search for your keywords that you're going to use in your videos and the best way to actually go about creating the content surrounding those keywords. Because keywords are so important, it's better to actually search for your keywords prior to creating your video. If you know what keywords that you are basing your content around, you can make sure that you say those keywords in your video because believe it or not, YouTube actually knows what you're saying and can determine whether the keywords that you use in your title, your description and your tags are used inside your video. If you have one set of keywords in your title, description and tags, but you don't use that keyword or you use other keywords in your videos, YouTube's gonna get very confused. So you need to make sure that all the keywords are the same and congruent throughout. Okay, so the best way for me to show you how to do this is to jump on the computer, take you through how we actually do our keyword research, show you the tools that we use, that way you'll be able to take the same methods and use them yourself. Okay, so I'm at the computer, I'm gonna share my screen with you now so you can have a look and see the things that YouTube say about YouTube search and how to actually get your videos placed in there. Okay, one thing to know is that videos show up in YouTube search results based on the title, descriptions, and content, and how well that actually matches the viewer's query. Video performance also plays a part, which I'll talk about shortly, but what the search results aren't is a list of most viewed videos. So it doesn't matter if a video has 500,000 views and yours only has 50 views, if your keywords better match the viewer's query, you will show up in the search result. Okay, so one of the first and most obvious places to go to look for keywords is, in, is straight into the YouTube search bar. Here, you are gonna use words relating to your niche. So for instance, let's go with summer fashion. Now, when you search out summer fashion, you get a list of other search terms that have been searched on YouTube already. This is gonna give you a good indication of the kind of keywords to use for your video. Then you choose something that relates to the topic that you have planned. Now, as you can see with my search results, there is actually search volumes next to it. In order to get these search volumes, all you need to do is come and in install a tool called Keywords Everywhere. Now this tool used to be free, it's not anymore, but guys, it is really cheap. We put about $10 on this and it gave us something like a million credits. And we did this about six months ago and we, has, we still haven't used all of that $10. So it's definitely worth putting on a $10 credit to actually get these search volumes to help you choose the best keywords for your videos. Okay, so Summer Fashion by itself has 12,000 views per month. But if you add 2020, okay, you're, narrow, you're narrowing down the people that are actually searching. The more precise you are with your keywords, the better results you're going to get for views because you're actually going to attract the right audience. So it's all about attracting the right audience. The last thing you want is somebody to click on your video that isn't really interested in your video and then click straight off because that lowers your audience retention, which also plays a part in how you're going to be found by YouTube search. Okay, so say for instance, you're doing summer fashion for men. This is gonna mean that anybody that isn't gonna be interested in summer fashion for men, don't need to click on the video. By doing this, it will increase your audience retention and your engagement rate. You do wanna use keywords for something that has a good search volume, but if you can find a keyword that has a good search volume, but not huge competition, this is a great way to get found by YouTube search. Okay, so the next tool that you can use is vidIQ. You've probably all heard of vidIQ, and if you haven't, it is a great tool to help your YouTube growth. You do get a free basic version of vidIQ, which you can use to help with your YouTube SEO. 
Okay, so you will have to sign up to vidIQ and add the extension so that it can access your YouTube channel. Once you've done that, you will get a button like this on your channel and just go down to Keyword Inspector and this brings up this area here where you can literally just add a keyword or a phrase. Okay, so here again, it shows you the keyword that you've provided so you know what you wanna talk about, summer fashion, now with this, what it does is it's going to give you the search volume, the competition and the overall score for that keyword. OK, so obviously the higher the score, the better the keyword. If you can find something with low competition and still a decent search volume, this is where you want to be aiming for. OK, so for this instance, summer fashion haul, if that is something that is relevant to what you're talking about, you can use this keyword. The competition for that keyword is low, although the search volume is rather high and you've got a pretty good overall score. OK, so you start to see where this is going, right? It's all about the keywords you use. Now, obviously, you come up with a title based on a good keyword but then you have to triple those keywords. And when I say triple those keywords, what do I mean? So once you've found the keywords that you're gonna use for your title, you need to make sure that you place those keywords in your description as well and in your tags. Tags are important for letting YouTube know what your video is about and it's kind of what you're telling YouTube you want to rank for as well. Now tags used to weigh heavier than they do anymore and YouTube themselves will tell you that tags are important if you're using a title or keyword that is often misspelled. So if it is often misspelled, then it is really useful to use those tags. And actually TubeBuddy, which is one we're going to talk about in a minute, will recommend that you put in tags that are slightly misspelled. So when people are typing fast and they type may, they may put M-K-A-E. So that is one recommendation that you actually get from TubeBuddy, which is an SEO tool it does help with seo and it does help with youtube search now if you go to tubebuddy using the free version up here and you do the same you sign up to tubebuddy and give tubebuddy access to your youtube channel then you can click on the tubebuddy tab right here and these are the options you have now we currently have a paid version of tubebuddy but i'm only going to show you the free version so you go to keyword explorer now in Keyword Explorer, what this allows you to do is put your keyword in here. This is going to tell you where this search term ranks for you. Now, this is ranking poorly for me right now because we don't do anything on our channel relating to men's fashion. So we carry no weight whatsoever with this keyword. Now, what does that mean? No weight. Well, along with using the keywords and making sure you place them correctly and obviously being careful of what you talk about in your video and making sure that they all tie together, the more content you create on a particular topic, the more authority you are going to gain on that topic as well. So although YouTube search isn't based on the number of views a video gets, it does help to let YouTube know what kind of content your channel producers. Now, you wouldn't see this for your channel unless you get the paid version. You would see unweighted, okay? And there's more to look at than just the overall score for this as well. But the search volume is very good. There's a good search volume for it. Competition, there is a lot of competition because it's in the red. You want to try and keep all of these in the green. It also tells you how well other people have optimized their video for this search term and it tells you what this means here. The amount of videos in the search result and the monthly search estimate. Down here as well, you'll get other related keywords, okay? So Summer Fashion 2020, Summer Fashion Nova Hall, Summer Fashion Men, 2020 Men, and you get a list of all of these here that you can use. Now, I'm not sure if you get this full list on the free version or you only get the first three or five, but you can just keep changing up your keyword and get as many search terms as possible that relate to your keyword. You also get common video tags for that topic as well. So I mentioned earlier on in the video that the engagement and the audience retention does play a part in helping rank you or place you inside of YouTube search for a particular search query. And the reason it does that is because YouTube is a business that is trying to keep people on its platform for as long as possible. And that means that if the YouTube comes across a video that has really good engagement on it, 
it has really good audience retention, it doesn't care whether that video has 10 views or 100,000 views. It's going to promote that video because it's keeping people on YouTube longer. YouTube is all about making money, so the longer they can keep somebody on the platform, the better it works out for YouTube. So on top of all of the SEO work that you can do, making sure that you put out engaging content and useful information to people that are looking for that information is really going to have an impact on how your video performs inside of the YouTube search. Now, in my previous YouTube growth video, I talked about how we went from naught to 2000 and talked about different tactics in there. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go and check that video out. I'll just put it up here for you so that you know which one it is. Also, if you're wondering about the type of content that you should put inside of a video, if you've got a topic you wanna talk about, check out what other people are asking. And you can do that the same way by going onto YouTube search. So if you pack as much value into your video as possible, that is gonna help people within your video, you are definitely gonna get better engagement and you are gonna get a better audience retention. In turn, that will help boost you up the rankings and get found by more people. Now, it is gonna take you a little bit of time just because you do amazing SEO on your very first video, it's not going to explode straight away. You are all gonna have to put in a little bit of time and effort, create yourself a few videos on the same topic, let YouTube know where you stand, what your content is all about, so that they understand where to place you in the algorithm. Understanding that the YouTube algorithm actually follows the viewer and not the creator is really important in knowing the kind of content that you should create for the viewer is really gonna help you grow as a creator and help your channel grow as well. It's gonna increase your watch time and it's going to increase your audience retention overall, which is what you need so that you can grow on YouTube. And if you've got anything that you're not quite sure about, you're struggling with on your own channel, drop a comment down below and let me know what it is and I will do my best to answer that question for you and help you move along. I'll be coming out with more YouTube growth tips in the coming weeks. So if that is something that you're looking for, how to grow a YouTube channel for a small YouTuber or a beginner, then definitely subscribe to the channel to make sure that you don't miss any of those upcoming videos. Okay guys, so that is everything I have for today. I hope you have an amazing day and of course make it epic and I'll see you in the next video.